who are here with us on the red couch. That's right, and it's a welcome to Dig Thank TV. You. Thank you. Jay, Hello. Drew and Jules. That's right. Um, so I just want to ask, to start off, you, uh, record, you wrote and recorded, uh, did demos in Manchester. Yeah. What brought? What took you to Manchester? I know you were touring there. You're playing there. Is that yeah, just because it was easy, or was down the road? Or? No. Well, it wasn't down the road. <laughs> well, I know, but I know you had to drive there. I mean, but but was it a matter of big, you wanted to put a particular slant on it, or did it give you a perspective on Australia? Or We'd the actually road? been there before, yeah. um, and the label we hooked up with, Little Big Man Records, mm. was uh, started by some guys who were from Manchester and. Uh, okay. He'd been in a band in the Happy Mondays. Yep. And, um, we know them. Yes, yeah. it's Sean Ryder, you can say. Yeah, yeah, well, Sean and Gaz, their drummer, we yeah. started a label with our manager, Pete. And, um, you know, we always wanted to go to England. And um, them being from Manchester, it was a bit cheaper and seemed like a cool place for us to just go and do some work. And we went there once and we demoed the first record and uh, just played festivals and stuff and just thought we would like to do it again. So we went there and wrote most of this record and it was just a nice place to, you know, was to it work. Was it for that reason? Because it was Manchester and it was... Yeah, I mean we've been to London before but yeah. we thought it just had a certain atmosphere to it that seemed like it was great for songwriting and of course there was not too many distractions for us. Mm. Sure. And also... Lots, lots of history in that city. Yeah, I was just going to say, the music. legend of the Mankey Band and, and that whole kind of movement around the Hacienda and the Happy Mondays and, you know, that was, I mean, it, it was... Probably you were probably getting there off the back end of that in lots of ways. So how did you meet Sean Ryder? Did he was he just a fan? Did he see you or no? Sean, we didn't meet first. We met Gaz, right. and, who started the label, the drummer from the Mondays, and they did a kind of final tour with the Big Day Out, and they ended up staying in Perth. It was the last date, and just hanging around. And we were doing a gig, um, a place called the Inglewood in Perth, yeah. and. Uh, just uh, they were down having a beer, and so you know we just got talking. They liked us, and uh, that's so cool. So I mean, that's they're that's the a, story. They're the good stories. Yeah, they're the, the, yeah, you like him in those ones. Yeah, so yeah. Was it, hey? Well, it's good for us because in Perth, it's not often that you meet people yeah, who like had that kind of too lazy to go and actually pursue anyone actively or do any serious work to promote <laughs> ourselves. So, right. um, yeah, it was rather good to just have someone stumble upon us like that. Kind of Seriously, out. too lazy or it's just one of those things? It's, um, it's, it's a bit it's of hard both. to go and I mean, you don't as well. always want to go and just, you it's know... Hi, I'm great. Yeah, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> and um, speaking with labels and all that sort of thing yeah. is not something I think we're particularly gifted for. So, um, yeah, it's been nice to kind of have those guys into bat for us. Like They've always just done the right thing by us and wanted to make good records with us, so yeah, yeah. yeah it's been cool. And I guess too, coming from Perth, you know, the world's most remote city, yeah. and you know, you can anyway. hear, um, <laughs> particularly, it, what did you, what? We've already got that anyway, because we're yeah, yeah, from Perth. Well, that's what I mean, you don't really have to go anywhere yeah. to get a perspective on sort of a remote, a, a kind of removed view of, of, your, of your country, because yeah. there is that thing about Perth that you're so removed, but, but you know, there's, there's, um, there's a, the, the the title track from from your most recent record, Sleeps Like a Curse. You know, it it's so reminiscent for me, and I, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but yeah. really reminiscent of of that Trifford sound. You know, yeah. wide oh, open that's road. Great. Um, that for me was you know you could just you could you can hear that space and. And you've also worked with a producer on that record, who's in Tim Whitten, who's who's really good at, at kind of separating. <laughs> Here's my ex-husband. But... <laughs> nah, he wasn't going to say it. Nah, well, he no, started he's, laughing. He's now. a great yeah, producer, a I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he's the thing. Really good. No, but the thing that that I guess I love about Tim's production is that he's really great at at kind of getting layered, um, mm. layering really well, but identifying sounds really well you know he's, yeah. he's got a particular sound and I wondered was that the thing that attracted you to him because um, there must have been well, a, a reason of, to work with him a lot of space in his sound mm. right, which and is, he'd had the go between and stuff in his yeah. bio so we thought that, that was a pretty good start and the Smiths mm. yeah, he did do yeah. front of house for yeah. the Smiths well, we got our name from a Smith song Panic yeah. you know so all those things kind of make sense and it also I what, something I thought it's, it sounds effortless and I was wondering how much effort needs to go into making something sound effortless? You know, leaving space and what to leave out, often it's, you know, the space in something. Was there a lot yeah. of... Generally about half a carton. <laughs> okay, there you go. What? <laughs> Normally about half a carton. That's that kind right. of okay. Does it just to it's do a relax. Yeah. Right. Perfect it answer. answer. That's it. That. That. That's the answer. So we're talking slabs here. <laughs> really? Yeah. What interests me is a lot of bands, and I'm, you know, I'm 48 years old, so I can, I'm allowed to say that a lot of bands who are younger than me... Right. 
it's interesting how a lot of them name check Buffalo Springfield, Neil Young, a lot of these <coughs> bands that I were the ones that I would listen mm. to. It's yeah. interesting mm. how it's kind of missed a generation and gone back. back. And why, why? I mean, apart from the fact it's just bloody good music, but I mean, yeah. yeah. We, well, Did you? I in particular and my brother, the drummer, grew up with a massive record collection, and we kind of got through our dad exposed to all that music because that's yeah. what he listened to, and yeah. we kind of went away from it for a while, and then we've kind of come back and yeah. we've started to appreciate that as, you know, that's the sort of music we want to make. Mm. That's right. And was was it, your dad in music. the Valentines? Yes. Ah. Was he? Bon Scott. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. They, wow. Yeah, they moved to Melbourne and he didn't go with them. Right, right. So, but so. he played with Bon. Yeah, he knew Bon only, quite early. Right. Yeah, right. Many miles of posting. So you've had, yeah, I mean, that must posting. have been... What a pedigree. <laughs> what a pedigree. This record did well for you. The, the mm. Jays picked it up and there was a lot of enthusiasm for it. Triple Jays, yeah. 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 Been awesome support for us. And they've got behind... Basically, we've, we've been a touring band for a long time and they've kind of got behind that yeah. aspect of it. So without their help, it would have been pretty hard. Yeah, there's but been yeah. no money put into marketing campaigns. And That's what I mean. Stuff, because which is, you know, yeah. it's fine for us because it's nice to know that any success we've had is through word of mouth and hopefully good shows yeah, and hard yeah. work. Which is probably a perfect cue to ask you to play for us. Yeah, I would love to. Probably. You're not going to play the title track. You're going to play a song called Twin Sisters. That's right. Um, it's just a song which, I don't know, it's just one of our favourites off the record. Yeah. Jay, Drew, Jules, thank you so much for joining us on the couch here at Dig TV. Really. It's a pleasure. We're going to enjoy listening to you to, um, to close out the show, which is the end. That's right. And uh, so here are the panics with the song Twin Sisters, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sisters there.